now that I'm here, I really, really wish I wasn't. Um, so, Coach, do you think it's too late for me to get a red shirt? <laughs> Let's talk about it. I mean, I have three, I think. <laughs> so, as most of you know, staying healthy was not one of my challenges. The majority of my four years was spent on crutches or trying to get back on the court. It was definitely tough sitting through practices and games, but I wasn't too upset every time I heard Coach say, John Warren. <laughs> I think I actually got out of more of Coach Dye's infamous conditioning test than I actually ran. It so, worked out well. Over the years, I've come to realize if you're not laughing, you're crying. So uh, I want to thank every one of you, my teammates, my coaches, and friends, for keeping me laughing. Obviously, being on the bench for games isn't fun, but we tried to make the best of it. So as some of you may know, Kelly and I had our little game day competition for best dress. Uh, <laughs> every home game this season, Kelly and I would go head to head on the sidelines. So uh, I think if I remember correctly, I came out on top. <laughs> um, Kelly graciously said that uh, I could get the win today, but I don't know. So I think we're going to need a verdict later tonight. <laughs> um, now I would like to thank some people for making my four years as special as they were. To the administration, while a lot of your hard work goes unrecognized, it is clear how dedicated you are to this program and its success. You are quite possibly the most approachable administration in Division I athletics. Personally, I would like to thank you for standing by me as a student athlete and being so accessible and supportive. To the coaching staff, past and present. It's definitely been a wild ride these past four years. While I spent more time on the injured reserve list than playing, I felt as much a part of a team as everyone else. You held me to the same standards as the rest of the team which gave me a much needed sense of normalcy while my role was not anything but normal. To the friends of basketball and team parents, those of, you who are, those of us who are a little farther from home cannot thank you enough for everything you've done. Your support through the years was not only greatly appreciated, but much needed at times. I am so grateful for all the home cooked meals I've gotten and being included in family holidays when I couldn't make it home. To the training staff, the most important part of this week. <laughs> I think I knew my way around the training room better than some of the trainers in there. <laughs> Thank you for always going the extra mile to help me on my never-ending pursuit of being healthy. I cannot say enough about how accessible you were to my family and me over the past four years. I actually think there was a point when uh, the trainers talked to my mom more than I actually did. So. Uh, Chris, you had your hands full with us this year. Uh, between Sarah's foot, Missy's face and head, <laughs> my knees and your knee, also. Uh, it's amazing we all made it out in one piece. Finally, to my team. Even though I missed out on the basketball aspect, well, for the most part, I definitely didn't miss out on being part of this wonderfully crazy team. If I were anywhere else with any other girls, I doubt I would have been able to make it to the banquet. As much as I hated waking up for early morning preseason workouts, cheering from behind the scores table at practices, and even paddling down the Delaware for three hours. <laughs> I'm so happy I stuck to it for every part of it. I've heard that every experience in life is either a good time or a good story. So thank you for leaving me with plenty of both. <laughs>